Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. If you guys are stuck, you guys have a no crack, no start issue, I'm going to give you guys another quick fix. So this video, I've done videos on no crack, no start before, and there's so many things that you'd have to troubleshoot to find what the cause of a no crank, no start is that I'm going to break down some of the more, more obvious things that could cause your no crank, no start and some of the more easier things to fix if you guys are in this situation. So basically, I had this situation uh, about a week ago. I uh, I I had no issues all day. Had no issues, and uh, at the end of the day, I pretty much stopped at a park, took a walk, came back, and the car would not crank, would not start. Had all the lights on the dash working. Uh, everything pretty much worked, but it would not crank. It would not start. It made no sound whatsoever no sounds actually it made no mechanical sound is what I meant the radio worked the chimes worked uh, you know all the sounds that you would hear when you get in to the to the vehicle to the car works but there was no other sound there was no clicking sound there was nothing now in this situation uh, it could there could be a lot of different things that could be causing this issue one of those things could be a dead battery or a very 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 weak battery however all the lights all the lights worked there was there was no problems with anything on the dash the blower motor works obviously um, I wasn't getting any kind of uh, heat because the car wasn't on. Turn on the headlights. The headlights work. Not a problem. All right. At that point, uh, I was thinking to myself. Normally, in these cases, I would try to get a jump. However, I did not get a jump because I did not think it was the battery. The battery was re replaced about uh, four months ago. Did not think it was the battery. The headlights were bright. So what I did was I actually looked at the terminals to make sure that the battery terminals were clean and they were tight, which they were. And and in this situation, I was trying to figure out what it was trying to, if you guys are in this situation, you guys will be troubleshooting each and every step, the simplest, you know, the simplest at the beginning to the very, you know, to, to the very more difficult thing that you can't actually work out or replace <clears throat> to get the car going without any kind of mechanical skills. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? There is a chance since I'm not hearing a click, there is a good chance that it could be something electrical. It could be something electrical. It could be something that I could try to figure out as far as what the issue is and me fixing it on the spot on the spot without any kind of without any kind of generally without any kind of tools so I was thinking to myself could be the fuses or the relays so I was looking at the fuses just to see what whether any of the fuses were blown and I was looking at the fuses and none of the fuses looked like they were blown. But before that, I did have an OBD2 scanner. I did not have a check engine light. So I plugged in the OBD2 scanner trying to figure out whether there's anything that be, could be causing this issue. And there was nothing that came up that could be causing that issue because the OBD2 scanner scanned all the way through. Now, 
I did put out a video on a crank no start issue that I had previously and that had to do with the fob key battery the fob key battery all right the fob key battery was low I had to change out the the battery but in that situation the car cranked in this situation I don't hear a crank and I don't hear a click I don't hear a crank and I don't hear a click. That could be either a dead battery or one of the fuses or relays or the ground wire had issues. Now, I did check the ground wire to see where the ground wire was broken off, whether the connection to the frame was rusted or corroded, etc., etc. And that wasn't the issue. That was an issue checked it. That wasn't the issue. So... I knew that the battery wasn't the issue. I knew that the ground wire wasn't the issue. I knew that the terminals wasn't weren't the issue. And those are the things that you guys would check first. Easy fixes if those are the things that that's causing the uh, no crank, no start issue. Now, there is another thing that could be causing the no crank, no start issue. And that would be uh, the ECM having... Uh, the uh, having no communication with your car and, and in most of those instances when those instances come about it is because it is because uh, the ECM is either broken it needs to be replaced or it doesn't need to, or it, it the grounding is bad but in most of those situations you would get a crank you would get a crank and it wouldn't start. So in this situation, I'm, I, I kind of narrowed it down to a couple of things. All right. I narrowed it down to either something that was mechanical, which is the starter itself. The starter itself. Or I can narrow it down to one of the fuses or the relays. Now, normally what happens is if I could... Do a test on the starter to make sure to, to bump the starter to make sure that the starter worked. Um, I would do it, but I, you, you know, in this situation, you're looking for the fastest fix that you can uh, get to, and that's something that's either the battery cleaning up the terminals, or 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 changing up the battery in the fob key, or changing the fuses or the relays. Now. Let's talk about the fuses and the relays. I looked at the fuses. They didn't, none of them actually looked like they had issues or were blown. I did not have a fuse tester on me, so I could not actually see to make sure 100% that none of the fuses were blown, but it didn't smell like they were burnt and they did not smell like uh, they had any issues as far as 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 any kind of brownish discoloration on the top of the fuse and and at that point i just pretty much surmise that the fuses weren't the issue so we have the relays now normally what happens if you have uh, a a relay issue with the starter and that's the thing that i actually thought about because i couldn't actually test out the starter physically going in there and, and testing out the starter. Now, I could actually test it out from the from from the relay. There is a way to test it out from the relay. However, I thought to myself, normally what happens is if the relay was working, you would hear a click. You would hear a click if the relay was working. Unfortunately in this or or, or fortunately in this situation Fortunately, probably because it gives you, it gives me a hint, gave me a hint whether the relay was the problem or the starter was the problem. I thought about it, tried to try to try to turn it on a couple more times, and 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 focusing on whether I could hear a click or not from the relay. Normally, what happens is the relay has a a, a magnetic a, a magnetic um, a bump 
All right, the, when when the magnet when, when the magnet when when the electricity goes through the relay, the magnet bumps against the, um, the middle portion of the relay, which which completes the connection, which completes the connection for your starter to start. And I was trying to listen to hear whether there was a click or not, <clears throat> and and I could not hear it. I could not hear a click. So <clears throat> so pretty much my thought was that the relay was in fact broken or not working or malfunctioning or whatever because it was not making a click. So I, I, I looked at the starter relay and I was thinking to myself, this is an easy fix. <clears throat> if you guys are in the same situation, this would be a very easy fix for you too and you could get yourself back on the road. So basically, I looked at the starter relay and I'm like, I could try to bump the starter from the relay, from the little relay slots. But instead, what I did was I looked for another relay to another component on that board where I could actually swap it out. All right. If you guys are in this situation, find where the starter relay is and pretty much swap it out. You know, use that. Use the relay that's the similar relay. You got it's. You, it's got to be similar. You got to read the numbers on the relay. Make sure that it's the same. Uh, you know, this the this a similar relay. Swap and and you pretty much use that relay. You take that relay off the starter and then you use that relay. Pop it in, and then you try to stop the car, which is what I did. I swapped it out. I tried to stop the car, and guess what? The car started up. The car started up, it was working. So it was a simple fix. There was an auto zone that was nearby. I went to the auto, auto zone, I swapped out, and they gave me a brand new relay, bought a brand new relay, popped it in, haven't had issues since. It was an easy fix, didn't need it, did not need a tow, it was an easy fix, and, and, and solved the problem right there and there. Right then and there. So if you guys have this problem and you guys are, <clears throat> looking for an easy fix for your issue, look at the relay, okay? Only if you guys have these symptoms where where there's a no crank, no start, but when you try to start it, not only is there no crank, no start, but you don't hear a click. If you hear a click, most of the time the relay, that's the relay clicking. If you don't hear a click, then it's probably the relay that you need to swap out, all right? Um, I hope that this has helped you guys out. Hopefully, uh, you know, this is an easy fix for your problem. If you guys have any issues, uh, comments on this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, all that good stuff, right, guys? Take care.